you didn't get no dice. Folks, welcome Sunday afternoon, the Tri-Generational Margu Campaign, episode total 200. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, today, uh, we may say goodbye to Light Reach. <laughs> Smells like smoke. Uh, but before we get into that, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit with us on our Discord channel, go ahead. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a phone case or a duvet cover, not kidding, uh, shower curtain, stuff like that, it's out there. Most importantly, if you want to see it on the one shots or on the talk shows on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Now, the new campaigns, yes, campaigns, plural, start Thursday and Saturday. So no one shots this coming week. Uh, we do have a talk show uh, the following week, one shots. So there's that. Uh, like I said, this is the Tri-Generational Campaign, and they are sponsored by Pirate Dog Dice, dice that may or may not set this place on fire. And, of course, Pirate Dog that was Pirate Dog Dice. This is Adventure Sense through oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, make it smell a whole lot better with oddfishgames.com. Also, if you're looking at getting into the publishing and authoring, try their Shine system. Uh, I got to play in their uh, kind of RPG with your cat last week, and that's going to Kickstarter soon, and that was kind of fun. So uh, let's go ahead and show you the people who are going to be wanted for a variety of crimes after today, I'm sure. Uh, we will start <laughs> with the last bitter party member, Felix. <laughs> AJ, um, tell us about you. I'm, Fe I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix the Rogue, and I can't remember why I'm so bitter, but I, I would say it's probably about my beautiful town going up in smoke in a couple of hours, in the next couple of hours. I'm going to be sad when it happens. Hopefully you won't be strapped down when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. And that's the end of Felix. Should I just roll up a new character now? We'll be starting a new Margu campaign next. <laughs> uh, next up is the Elder Statesman, uh, Frank C. Yeah, that would be Felix strapped down and all the firemen lined up behind him. <laughs> Oh, you yeah, mean I, just, I am really looking forward to the bonfire. And who do you play? I am Leaf, the old, I said sane, but kind of crazy druid. I just need to get away from these damn little people. <laughs> I mean, Which Phineas brings us to Copious. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, who are you? Copious Bold Bitters the third, Admiral. <laughs> Uh, no miss which, and I think self described little person, so I'm not sure what the last comment's saying here. Oh, I'm sure I was talking about Felix's <laughs> friends, and uh, I'm going to be just as sad as Felix if this town goes up. <laughs> Copius has made a lot of business contacts at this place, he has indeed. Uh, a lot, you know, you're friends with the madam, she's she's got her fingers in pots and stuff. Yeah, we know what our fingers and, and are stuff. in. And stuff. That's, yes, don't drink after. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Next up is the youngest Oops. member. Uh, little Frank, who do you play? Who are you? Hi, I'm Manfang, the smartest and best moonwalker in the group. And I am here True. to mock my way to victory in the burning down of the town. <clears throat> half the party wants to burn it, the other half wants to keep it. We shall Burn see. Uh, one member off camera currently is Robert of Zeppelin. He will be playing the half-orc bard extraordinaire and resident fire starter. He is currently aboard their vessel, the Pistorus, out in the Bay of Lightreach. Lightreach is a halfling uh, village set on three tiers along a cliffside. Last time, these guys got to witness a... Here, Father, ceremony. introduce yourself. Dedicated... Oh. Or not. There he is. Or not. Wow, nice shirt. <laughs> uh, Frank, who are you? I'm Frank. Thanks. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I feel like you wore that shirt on purpose this time. <laughs> Maybe I did. I, I, well, you're giving free advertisement to your uncle, so I don't want to hear it. I can go change if I want to. <laughs> this was a choice. I'm playing uh, Robert of Zeppelin, the bard. 
the sorcerer, the man, the myth, the legend, all rolled into one. The arsonist. <laughs> and I am ready to burn the world. The cannibal. Let's not forget about your stew. Uh, light reaches on three <laughs> tiers. Uh, they are a halfling. I kingdom. forgot about that. And, uh, <laughs> I did. <guess>. I didn't. <laughs> and their uh, vehicle, the Pistorus, was accidentally ransacked by a few of the local yeah. adolescents. Uh, accidentally my ass. Fortunately, these guys have recovered most of their belongings, uh, set fire to the pawn shop, and Felix got to give a great dissertation at a religious service to the sea deity of Lear, in which he observed a not quite king's ransom of treasure get tossed off the cliff, uh, but a good chunk. Uh, the others have also found sea, uh, sea-soaked pouches, which looked strangely like the pouches that held the tributes. So there's a lot of mystery in town. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of pleasantries. Uh, they've met a witch, Georgina, the apothecary. Uh, they met, uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> Peta and Sigor, uh, two beautiful and rambunctious individuals uh, that may or may not have been part of the thief ring. And they met Spats, whose pawn shop they burned down. <clears throat> and lest we not forget, uh, Copius and Felix have met a very close circle of friends in the pink house, a.k.a. the bordello. Felix has also recovered some medicinal herbs that give him potency and power uh gentlemen when last we left off uh i believe you guys were reunited and it felt so good as man fang moonwalked up and down the stairs uh you guys are on the dock uh i think you guys were headed back uh you guys were going to steal a boat or something to get back to your ship to sleep it off is that the case <clears throat> uh you arrive after Perlo oh, you had already purloined his ship, didn't you? That's right, and set it adrift, uh, trying to catch up. And then the next day, uh, you guys re-arrived on shore, and everybody was ticked that the boat was missing. Correct? Muted. Yeah, it's a good handle on it, though. <laughs> yeah, we, we used our own boat to get back on shore. <clears throat> that is correct. Uh, are you taking Robert with you? Yeah, absolutely. Gang's all here on shore. Remember, you've got one halfling who almost certain you guys stole his fishing boat, but had that missing piece of uh, evidence. Uh, so he doesn't get a vote. You guys have been under the seaside tunnels uh, and been in many, many shops and up top along the cliffs. So what would you like to do today? I think we still have to for the last of our uh, goods from the map makers. That I, he was finishing up right. the piece for us, so Correct. we need to go deal with that. I know Felix wants to go back to the pink house today. I want to sell my chili. Mm -hmm. I do want to go to the pink house today at some point, but you know later in the day. Okay. How much chili did you make? I want to see a, if I can find a place to pick up some supplies while we're. In. Certainly. Uh, all of those uh, are easily done, except everybody perception. Scott's. 26. 16. Uh, 18. 7. I'm looking at the cross side. 1. Uh, everybody but Man Fang and Robert notice an entourage headed down from the upper echelon of light reach. It is an individual you have met before and know as the mayor. You, and he points to Man Fang. Of course he does. <laughs> I know what you did. What did I do? I, I, I can't believe you aren't taking credit for this. This what is did I do? this is astonishing. What did I do? I'd like to know. You, 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 and your associates yes. are all responsible for this. What is you this? come to our town, uh -oh. you visit our town, and then 
You participate in the religious celebration and even offer a tribute. I, I have not been so impressed with outsiders in years. Thank you. I appreciate what you've done. Ah, you're welcome. We have to kill you for your celebration. Oh, yeah. I, I just ate breakfast. Thank you very much. Well, this is you, <laughs> you ain't going to eat that chili, are you? <laughs> uh, but it smells okay. Uh, perhaps uh, later on uh, you can uh, offer it to one of our... For the religious celebration, I want to make sure everybody can partake. Oh, that was yesterday. I know, but for the next one, we'll keep it chilled. That's in a year. I'm going to uh, whisper to Robert. Robert? Take it up to that pink house and leave it. They they feed the poor. Oh, okay, I got a place to drop it. I'm going to drop <coughs> it to help feed the poor. Uh, you you and Felix can drop stuff off up there later. I'm sure. No, Felix picks up things from there. I'm dropping off. <laughs> I, I'm going to say he probably does both. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Uh, but the mayor is impressed. He uh, he appreciates the fact that you guys have made yourself at home in their tiny little community and if there's anything he can do for you all he has to do is ask well uh Cope i'm is... sorry though i've got an appointment yeah, so i'm a little bit busy <laughs> he's a politician <laughs> uh he keeps his uh little secretary slash student right there uh please see what these gentlemen need and uh, get back with me i have some very important business up on the top tier uh, Copius will just uh, express his, his how how much uh, he and the rest of the crew have enjoyed their stay, and they really feel at home in this this quaint town that uh, that really fits everything they need uh, for the ship. And we hope to make it a regular location to come back on our trading voyages from now <coughs> on. I just uh, puked a little bit in my mouth. Excuse me. <laughs> is there, all, is there all of all of you, or just some of you? All Definite, of us. Definitely all of us. Okay. Is there okay. anything that we should uh, intentionally try to bring back next time we come? <laughs> where it depends on where you're going. Well, we we're not sure where exactly where we're going. We think we're going to head south uh, west along the coastline. Uh, not the Ashanta area. No, we're up there. Those under. big Amazonian women. No, we're going to steer clear there. Well, that's yeah, over right. There. Yeah, that's over there. Ethar. So, are you going to Sedrington? Yes, yes. We've talked about going to Sedrington. Well, Sedrington is the home of magic, as I'm certain that you well know. Uh, magic items were created there. Oh. Have the wizard in the tower, and he he has made almost every single magic item you've ever seen. What's his name? Handoff? Uh, his name is Braden. <laughs> Handoff no, the Brown? Handoff works in the pink house. That's right. <laughs> and hand on. They're Siamese. <laughs> yeah. Handoff, hand on, hand Z. And their brother, Hand Up. Yes. Uh, Braden is uh, the mage of Sedrington. Braden? Mage of Sedrington. We should go there. Scopia. That I, I would avoid the now. Ashana. They're pigs. I say they're pigs, boy. <laughs> so we've been told. There are a lot of wood buildings in Sedrington, just uh, out of curiosity. Uh, it is a port city, so it is a it's it's a mixture of uh, stone and uh, wood, but I've never been there myself. Oh, okay, okay. They talk in a different tone down there. They talk like this. <laughs> oh. It's going to make it easy on me. <laughs> sure, they're not Swedish down there? Oh, oh they might. Uh, I'm going to mention, <laughs> mention to the mayor that I want to pick up some supplies and ask uh, for the, some... Uh, the mayor's directions. secretary. The mayor's always mayor's gone whoever up. Whoever's secretary. Sure. Yep. Uh, supplies? Yeah. Uh, that would be second level, uh, just past the witch Georgina, right up against the cliff. Uh, the mayor was telling us about some uh, medicinal herbs that we could acquire here. Or uh... that, that would be at Georgina's. Oh, okay, that's He's right next to where. Ash, I'm just asking. He will look. Uh, D12 against me, Felix. 
Six. Eleven. Whew. He does not recognize you as a purveyor of uh, goods and services from Georgina's. Good. I'd be careful, though. She's in a bad mood. Why is that? Uh, apparently, she was the victim of a burglary. The uh, gendarmes are they're looking into it right now. Uh, well, sounds familiar for all of us. But, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's chili. Well, <laughs> don't try it, chili. Well, chili, don't eat it. Uh, I've, I have an intestinal uh, problem. Uh, it's too bad. It's made with love and care. And I hear it's got a special kick that makes you feel like a kid. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a one. He ain't going to do it. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Getting all those ones out before the combat. Uh, I just pictured a big bat like from uh, Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> How are you carrying that? <laughs> I on got your like boat. <laughs> I got a couple of little. I, I, I was thinking. Wait a minute. It's a halfling. How big a kettle do you need? That's true. It was two halflings. I was going to carry two. Yeah, still, once you get the bones out of it, what's left? I just used an old keg, keg case of. Uh, yeah, okay. you, you stir did you, it did up. Did you pour it, that yeah. crap out that was in it? <laughs> How do you think I kept the fires going? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> stuff's like gold. That's liquid gold. Plus now, all remember, the acidity Copious, of it's what helped kill the foul taste of halfling. I mean, Co yeah, Copious. Did you bring back another flask for your female friend? Uh, no, because she guzzled the first one. What the hell? Oh, oh well. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Can I have a little nip of that? Sure. Of course. Maybe there, was, maybe there was a tit for tat kind of thing. I haven't had a chance to brew more stuff yet. Now, yeah. Felix was doing a tit for tat thing. I yes, guess. he was. Can I have a little nip? <laughs> tit for tat. Tit for tat. Tune in Tokyo. Meanwhile, your son's like, okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to know. He can't play the innocent card. I've seen his browser history. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His browser history. <laughs> Damn it, son. <laughs> what are you looking at on my personal computer? Right next to the culinary uh, pages. That's bullshit, son. <laughs> okay, so uh, who wants to do what first? Well, I want to uh, see if anybody wants to go with me up to pick up supplies. Uh, I believe Robert will. So at least to buy them. Before we say goodbye to the secretary, I want to inquire about the man whose who's shop burned down last night. That seemed to be a real tragedy. We heard about it this morning. That would be Spots McGee. He's a, he's a purveyor of a, a variety of items. I, I'm going to say, I think, we, I think we purchased a couple things from him yesterday. Uh, you got it just in the nick of time, boy. So what, what's going to happen with him? Where is he staying now? Oh, he's, he has many friends. Uh, they have, uh, let's see, slipped into the Russian one. Uh, he's, uh, he, he'll be staying in the tunnels. The tunnels underneath. Has he, has he got any friends that don't wear red vests? Well, no, red's a popular color. Uh -huh, they uh -huh. like chili. What tunnels? Uh, there are tunnels underneath the first level. They were old and uh, caused by the sea. Uh, it uh, it helps people go from point A to point B. I'm told. I have not been down there. Oh, okay. But he's down there now. I believe. Okay. I get a rash when I go down there. Hmm. That's yeah, funny. So Felix gets a rash at the pinky. <laughs> <laughs> no, Felix left a rash at the. Pinky. Oh, they don't know about that new yet, one. Though. That's right. The incubation time has not yet passed. Correct. <laughs> well, it's only been here two days. You, you, got, you got five more days to get the hell out of Dodge before. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Only. <laughs> All right. So once, once the secretary goes away, uh, and it's just us, and we can talk privately, I want to talk with the rest of the group and say, are we done with the Red Vest group? Or are we going to what do we? I know we want to pick up supplies, pick up our charts. We've got two issues to deal with here. One is whether we want to do anything more with the red vest, and the other is do we want to go after we get the charts, look at the map where Felix identified a really interesting natural phenomenon just off the coast. I I vote for leave this. Get our supplies, 
get the maps and let's get out of the Alice Harbor town and investigate where they dumped that damn treasure off. Yeah, I think that's what Felix wants to do as well. It's too early for the pink house, but that money. Whew, you know, you Ted, the cat man's, Ted the cat man's on the ship. He can take care of Felix's problems. So. Well, that'll be good for those lonely nights at sea. The, did you see how much treasure they dumped into that bay or yeah. water? We got to go get that before somebody else does. But you notice, and I'm, uh, as long as nobody's listening to us, I'll say that chest that we uh, recovered is full of those little pouches with the jewels in it so with the the attribute in it so somebody else and i'm thinking wearing red vest remember how those clowns swam under the water is going down there getting that treasure we need I, to get there first I I think idea. they're already getting it and they're all in the tunnels under the town yeah Are they let's let them, them do the dirty work let's, let's go down into the tunnel hey and just yeah. slaughter them and take the treasure well, and we if we don't need to slaughter them, we can let them go. But the bigger uh, thing is, what? we're not what? stealing from the god Lear. We're stealing from thieves. Um, I can feed him this chili with a little special magic in it. it but that'll give them the strength of their own, their forgotten brethren. We don't want to do that. I don't want to mess well, with this god Lear. I just need much. a few herbs in it. They're going to be Apache chief. In a chop. <laughs> I'm gonna mix a little peyote in it. Fifty doing. feet tall in a tunnel of six feet. No, 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 no. <laughs> Kill fire starter now. <laughs> yeah. He brings up good points. All right, so let's go get our supplies and then come back to the dock and decide we're either going back to the ship or down the tunnels. Or go back to the ship and come back and go into the tunnels at dusk. Yeah, I'd say if we're going to do that, we need to do it after the sun goes down so nobody sees us going. But what would we possibly do for the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you could say that with a straight face either. <laughs> Felix has got to be in great shape tonight. I think that, <laughs> I think Felix knows what he wants to do. That is a great plan, Copius. It's no wonder why you are the leader of our cohort. I just want to on board. How many rich exhaustion will you have when we're family. trying to go into combat? <laughs> I'm not going into combat. I'm going to the pink house. That's it's combat. a different kind of combat. <laughs> it, it will be a different yeah. kind of combat. You I think it's hand to man. Chili so you keep your energy and strength up. What could possibly go wrong there? All right, let's do it. Cool. All right. We'll can I drop this chili off at the pink house before we go? You can do that if you want to. I'm going up to second level to the supply place. So I have copious and leaf and go into the supplies. Well, copious, you're going to the cartographer, correct? Yes. Yep. Leaf wants to go to the supplies. All right. Manfang, what are you doing? I have no idea. You can go with Follow me if you me. want. Follow I think you me. should just all split up and go in five different directions. That'll exactly. make this way I'm just going to start walking away. Make Actually. it easy for the DM. Go five different directions. <laughs> walking, walking or moonwalking? Moonwalking. That's a better idea. You know what? I like this idea. So you're going to moonwalk along the dock. Robert, yep. you're you, asking you to have, end up in the water, son. You have two barrels of your chili. What would you like to do with them? I'm going to drop the uh, chili of cream of some young guy off to the uh, pink house. So you and Felix are headed up to the third level. Yeah. No, 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 no. A no. different style of donation to the pink house than Felix is. I want to feed the girls so they can keep their energy up. This has got I'm a pretty sure that's energy. what Felix is doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Felix is leaving certain deposits. <laughs> Where's my glasses now? Fair enough. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the cartographer first because I need to make sure that the map has the distinct feature that I want to see on it before we pay for it. Then to the Fair pink enough. house. Fair enough. Uh, we'll start with Manfang. Manfang, as you are doing your cool new dance moves that these halflings have never seen, roll me a performance <laughs> check as a group of youngsters is keeping an eye on you. Zero. So just straight roll, son. Yeah, buddy. Twelve. Twelve. They are intrigued uh, and come over and ask you how you do that. 
<laughs> I explain I use the powers of music to assist me. <laughs> what music? <laughs> is, that, is that in your head? <laughs> this music, and I win. <laughs> and uh, a, a young adolescent halfling says, show me how you do that, takes your okay. hands and puts them on her hips. <laughs> just right. remember just remember everything you say at this point will probably get repeated to your mother <laughs> and your grandmother I, I worry about your mother your like your grandmother yeah yep i'm going to <laughs> that have been a fun idea but no not right now not yet has anyone uh, seen uh dancing to electric boogaloo because that's what's going through my head right now Actually, I don't Breaking think anybody saw that. <laughs> what are you doing, son? I'm going to think quickly. Come on, come on. I'm what moving, are you doing? my hands and teaching her how to moonwalk. I guess you kind of do like a this a this kind of motion. And Gentleman you, and a diplomat. She uh, yeah. she's starting to pick it up. She got a ten. Uh, her brother pushes her out of the way and says, "No, no, no. Do me next." All right. Uh, cool. A slight scuffle breaks out between the two. Do you want to step in between them, or do you just want to let them play it out? I need to get out of a cardboard box so I can do some break dancing. <laughs> right on the edge of the dock. Yep. He's going to win over. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, so the brother and sister combination are starting to fight. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to tell them to calm down and say, no, no, no. This is how you do it. Show them how to dance fight. This is, uh, this is how you do it. Uh, with a Not nineteen, bad. Bad. a nineteen I, sleight of hand. How many coins did you have on your person? Not so many. I don't know. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I probably had like about a hundred on me at the time. A hundred? Okay. Oh, you have five. <laughs> <laughs> Better uh, hope you roll percentage dice. <laughs> uh, you have thirty-six. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah. Uh, Ooh, that hurts. How did that, you not see that coming? I don't know. That, but I painfully move, as, walk away. Right. As soon as they touched your hands, I was like, "He lost money." <laughs> this is this is a life lesson. Don't let this is touch why you, this is why we burn this freaking town down. <laughs> Why I'm going to sadly moonwalk away and go uh, find a liquor store where I can. You should. <laughs> you should have thrown them in the freaking water, like I said. Well, you don't notice it yet. Uh, We'll uh, move up oh. to, uh, let's see, we'll go with the cartographer next, Copius and Felix. As you walk up to the second level, you are stopped by two lovely young ladies that you also recognize, Peta and Sigor. Well, hello, boys. Focusing their attention on Copius. How are you today, kind sir? I appreciated you giving me that very healthy tip. That's Sigor, I assume, right? Because uh, it would be Peta. Sigor. Peta doesn't Peta. like you. Yeah, she doesn't like me, right, Peta? So, Copius would be really nice. Sigor, how lovely to see you. And Peta, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Peta, are you putting on weight? <laughs> Peta, is that mustache? <laughs> Need a little bleach action there, Peta. Have a rough night? <laughs> uh, Sigor will swoon for you. She just yes. thinks you're the ace of spades. I'm going to invite Sigor and Peta to lunch uh, at, or dinner, whatever, however long it takes to drop Felix off at the, the uh, pink house. A week. <laughs> <laughs> Not how long does he want to stay? How uh, long are we getting there? Oh, okay. Well, he's going to the cartographer shop with you. Uh, Sigour absolutely is over the moon. Uh, I, I, I would wear my best dress for you. Oh, that is fun. like, um... I will go for my friend to make I have, sure there's... I have just the friend for you, Peta. He's he's as, as beautiful, as, as handsome as you are beautiful. Is it Manfang? It it's is, yes. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see if Peta bites hook, line, and sinker on that one. And hopefully he'll look past the weight you've put on. <laughs> <laughs> A one. Great. <laughs> uh, you and Felix enter the uh, cartographer shop as Sigor is. <laughs> uh, 
uh, inside the cartographer shop. Uh, the man is currently waiting on someone else, so you will have to wait. Give me a perception check. 12 for copious. Uh, 14. Just doing standard business. Uh, Leaf, you have surpassed uh, these two as well as Peta and Sigor. Seeing the interaction, you just trying to keep on moving. You yeah. have reached the general store, the mercantile. I'm going to go on in the mercantile, mercantile. And, and look around. Uh, it is a five and dime store, for lack of a better term. Okay. Do I see the proprietor? You do. He's wearing tartan plaid, yellow and black. Hello, my friend. I'll greet him. And tell him I'm looking to pick up supplies. He a has ship. a swarthy appearance, but he's still a halfling. Clearly, he was not born in light reach, uh, but he's friendly, which means he wasn't born in light reach. Yeah, uh, no shit. He doesn't have his hand in my pocket. What kind of supplies may I help you with? Uh, like jerky and hardtack, you know. Those are all basic. You'll have those. Yeah. Depending, uh, on, depending on the amount that you want. Yeah. Well, what kind of quantities do you have? Uh, D12 against me. I guess I was wrong. Oh, shit, where is it? Four. Six. Uh, he's got the quantities you're looking for. Uh, that, uh, yeah, do you have any fruit? Uh, yeah, he'd have fruit. I have the best fruit, fruit uh, this side of Thornfield. Well, I would like to go ahead and, and I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know what kind of quantities to ask for. I'd like to get, you know, a ton of stuff for the ship. So wherever he's got in the form of the hard tack and the, and, and the, and the, the fruit, I'm just going to take. Sandrington will be about a week's journey. Uh, or maybe a little bit less. So. Okay. So I want to get about two weeks' supplies. Sure. Uh, he'll have that. You beat me on the roll. Okay. So cherries, hardtack, jerky, anything else? Uh, Does he have water? Cass, uh, what, well, wine or water. Water, not wine. My friend, I think I have something better than that. You uh, look like an educated man. Do you believe in science? Absolutely. Really believe in science? Sure. What's science? He believes in Scientology. <laughs> I have something I call a filter. And it's made from the hide of a sheep. He reaches underneath, brings out a white semi-porous piece of fabric, a coffee filter. This will, I believe they call it desalinate salt water, making it pure. Best water you've ever had this side of the mountains. Would and you be many, interested? How much water can you put through that? One water cask a day for one filter. Show me how it works. I would be happy to. Uh, he takes you outside. There's a small well pump next to the building. Pumps in a bucket full. Take a taste. Now taste it. It's salt water. You spit it out. Brian, okay. Follow me. He puts the filter over a, a goblet. Takes a cup. Pours it over. You wait because it's semi-porous, so the water sits on top a little bit. As it starts to filter through, you notice a crystalline substance, the salt, the brine. <clears throat> he removes the filter, hands you the gob. Try it. Not tasted. Like mountain water. Well, how much? Yeah, they're a bit spicy, my friend. Uh, I could not part for uh, 50 gold pieces of filter. Oh, no. And I only have 10. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah. You believe in science. You saw the science with your own eyes. Yeah, I saw the science, but I can I can buy a, a cask of water. Oh, they are so heavy. Oh, no. But, you know, we've got this huge ship. 
and we can put them on. Plenty of yeah, yeah, I you know what? I like you. 45 each. It's a good I, deal. You know I, it's a good deal. How about I take five for 30 each? Persuade me. I don't do well in these. I got and I got plus. a nat 20. <laughs> well, that's bullshit. I got a natural 35. <laughs> ah, 42. All right, I'll take five. At 42 gold. That's sold. 42. Sold light reach. Uh, moving on. Uh, Robert. Uh, you pass a few interesting individuals who are like, what's in the vat? I'm selling high quality chili. It's enough to bring the youth back out of anybody. One bite and you'll just be hopping around like a little schoolboy. Mm. Or girl. Or girl. girl. Two twelves. We'll try it. <laughs> Another school. Oh. There's two balls. <laughs> Pull that an eyeball. You don't need that. That was a toenail. No, I thought it was an eyeball. <laughs> a little hairy toe. Mm. One likes, one does not like. Ah, sir. Here, let me add a little of this uh, special sauce. A little bitters. <laughs> likes it less. Went from a six to a two. That makes total <laughs> sense, drinking that bitters crap. Oh, that's <laughs> pretty cool, man. He finds out you stole his shit. <laughs> Uh, eh, you know, it's eh. not made for everybody. How do you, sir? You like it a lot, do you? I, li I like it 14 worth. <laughs> oh, that's good. Taking it up to the uh, the old uh, pink house up there. You yeah, sell it up there. Yeah. Come out. Just yeah. came from oh. there, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, I thought these girls would like it before they get a kawaka. Something shoved up there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> don't like that. They need their energy, so we're gonna take it up there. I don't like very good uh, that much <laughs> you, know, you got something. two vats right oh yeah yeah guess what <laughs> uh 14 uh give me an insight check nineteen somebody's rooting around in your pockets uh can I see somebody rooting down in my pockets or just feel it? You can just feel it because you're carrying it up. Uh, which side do I feel it on? Right side. I'm dropping that bat and reaching quickly. Uh, give me a two-hit roll at disadvantage with dexterity as your modifier. Oh, there we go. Nat 20. First, uh, miss, miss, first one was a like four. Well, that's a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. uh, you drop it. It misses the thief, chucks off his arm, as you can clearly see that the individual had his hand inside your coin purse, so to speak. I'm grabbing it by the throat. Okay. Whoa, 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 my friend. Whoa, my friend. Who's saying that? The one I'm grabbing? No, the other one. Oh, the, the one you're grabbing, you can't talk. Yeah, because I'm crushing. Yes. Uh, I'm the other one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you want to be involved? Did you put your hand in my pocket? Should I finish with you next? The chili can go to waste. But my, he's going to go my, to waste. Sir, sir, sir. My friend dropped his key. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The, the, the key is on the cobblestone, sir. Not in my pocket, it wasn't. He, he's a it tiger. Was, sir, it was an accident. He, the, the guy reaches down and picks up a key. My friend dropped his key. That's all it was. I'm smashing him with the other vat of that. <laughs> Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> you got damn right. No uh, witnesses, baby. You're in the middle of the stairway on the second floor, <laughs> literally the center of the city. Literally. I don't care. Okay, uh, no disadvantage because. Uh, Burn it all down. Me. Better get your shit, boys. <sighs> okay, uh, go ahead and crack him one. Okay. Woohoo! Plus what attack modifier? Yep. That's plus seven, so twenty-two. Oh yeah, he's unconscious. All right. Now I'm you gonna... still have the eye bulger in your grip. 
I'm not going to try to smash his skull, but there's a wall to my right, I take it, in the stairwell? There is a building, yeah. Okay, just a little... Love tap? Yeah, until he's not <clears throat> conscious. Roll a d20, do not roll real high. Ah, damn it, 17. Uh, that's a little bit high. Uh, he's got a broken nose. <laughs> oh, I am. Blood that, that, spurts that. everywhere. The screams can be heard. Uh, a small crowd is starting to gather. I broke his nose. Okay. Who else? Who else wants to pick my pockets? You broke the man's You pick my pockets, you get to pay. Judgment has been rained down upon thee. Bam. As I am thy lord's hand, I will bring judgment down upon you. Smack. No. At least you're being quiet about it. <laughs> uh, nobody, nobody wants a piece of that action. I'm just dropping them to the ground. Is everybody yeah. moving away from me and leaving the area? Yes. However, uh, you have attracted a certain element that's going to be problematic at best. And eh, we're leaving anyways. <sighs> Seabirds have decided to descend upon the broken casks of chili and are gulping it up uh, and surrounding you like your Robin Williams or <laughs> some guy who yeah. feeds pigeons a lot. That's my uh, prop! Back off! <laughs> so, so, so nobody can really see me anymore because I'm surrounded by seabirds? Correct. Okay, I'm going to chip pick their pockets. There's nobody around you. The two that he knocked out. Oh, the two that you knocked out. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, anything but a one. Give me a pencil, please. You got pencils in there in the thing. Oh, what? Yeah. See? Oh, it's in the thing. Some of them got tips. I, think. <laughs> I know. Dude, would you roll one? Uh, no, you're going to get 13 gold. That's fine. Huh. But you, it, it depend, your rolls will depend on where you were uh, picking. <laughs> you need to roll? You need to roll twice. I rolled a 12. Okay. And a six. Yeah, you, you got 13 gold. They didn't have that, much on them. That did not touch. Uh, there were no bad touches. The gendarmes are not going to come after you. Uh, the <laughs> seabirds are squawking <laughs> loudly. <clears throat> How did the seabirds react? Where did the tricky person touch you? You might want to leave. There's going to be some gastro gastronitis <laughs> or something. <laughs> they're gonna be shitting everywhere is what he's trying to tell if, you if you've ever seen uh, penguins get fed that's what's about uh, to happen here in one end and out the other straight through yeah. high highway to I'm heaven i'm gonna walk away that damn bitters just makes everybody shit themselves well are you still going up to the pink house because now you don't have any uh, i don't wares. have a reason to go there now <laughs> where, where the birds are go? taking care of the evidence just fine for me sure where we need to remember head that head i'll Put head down to the supply shop put some chili on the bodies yeah, I'll cover the body. I roll the bodies in the chili. Nice touch. Uh, uh -huh. You twisted little bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, as, as you head down I the second the level again, uh, you pass Felix walking out of the shop, uh, and you uh, Copius, uh, you were going to wait, right? So Copius, it's your turn. Uh, the cartographer, uh, how many? Oh. Yes, uh, I have your items done. I was up very late doing them, though. Uh, Copius will thank him for his hard work. Take a look at the maps. See if I see the uh, place that Felix had indicated to look for. Uh, you you do, but you also see something else. Uh, and what what is it that uh, Copius notices? Uh, remember the picture of Felix? Yes. It's been duplicated. Uh, I assume you wanted all papers duplicated. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for uh, that one as well. Uh, has Felix left the shop or does he see it too? Uh, you two D12. If Felix rolls higher, he's still in the shop. <laughs> oh, I, I rolled a one. A uh, nine. Okay. So no, he is unaware <laughs> So uh, I have the scroll case with me, so I'm going to put it in the scroll case. And since no one else knows it's in there, they shouldn't be asking for it to get it to come out, right? Well, you'll have the original, which is known by Felix. Yeah. Uh, and the cartographer is a little bit upset because 
he points out that he was unaware because you didn't bother to tell him and his child uh, came in while he was doing the duplication and he's not happy about that. So he would like a uh, Renu- remuneration payment. Yes, uh, remuneration, please. Uh, so I didn't wasn't aware that uh, those were mixed in, but we're happy. Uh, to my child up. has seen it. So uh, no offense, but uh, I'm going to require uh, payment. Oh, and what would soothe your child's fragile mind? Five gold pieces. <laughs> I, shake downtown or what? Yeah, uh, but, yeah, it's your fault that he was copying a picture in front of his kid. <laughs> That's your fault. It, it was, uh, I don't recall handing it to him. I said, I, this town's a damn thief. Uh, I will, uh, because Copious likes <laughs> it down so much, he doesn't want to ruin his, his, ruin his reputation here. He apologizes for it. How about six gold? Uh, and, and make sure that last gold goes to whatever training your, your young child requires in therapy from Georgina the Witch to put him rights. Uh, I like that. That's a good, that's a good thing. Uh, outside, Felix, uh, you meet with Robert, who is now missing his barrels of chili and looking like... Don't go that way. Uh, as How did the as- girls upstairs like it? What smells like chili? As Robert uh, tells like you, shit. don't go that way. <laughs> a, an older halfling woman walks by, uh, headed from where you came, and says, well, hello. <laughs> to who? Felix. To oh, okay. Now, I was about to say, nobody says that to me. <laughs> Do I recognize her? As... It wouldn't be more of a hello. It'd be more of a hello. Yeah. Well, then I will say back, Hello, like with a questioning. Oh, who are you? She, she's an older lady, a mature lady. Uh, she, she is he blushes. Really his cougar pelts covers his mouth and uh, scurries off. She saw the picture. Moments oh. later, Copious, uh, the cartographer's wife, comes in. <laughs> <laughs> so outside, uh, Robert, Robert has. Chili droppings all over his boots from where it splattered. Start wiping the chili off to make it look not suspicious. Flicking, flicking like the eyeball will go <coughs> off my yeah. Boots. The eyeball like strains like a bit of skin. That it didn't. <laughs> so yeah, he he was headed to the pink house, but now he is sans soup. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, how's how's it going? Never made it to the pink house. I oh. dropped my bowls of chili. Oh, you did, oh. did you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's oh, go. That's on the pink this house, group. Felix. Go. I'd go the longer route. Huh. Okay. Why? It's just because. Just watch out for the seagulls. <sighs> oh, seagulls. Yeah. A, a flock of seagulls and albatross take to the air as they are scurried off by the gendarmes here. Oop, get undercover! <laughs> there, oh, there's a lot of splatting going on, and Copius, uh, you have concluded your business. The mature-looking woman, who is the cartographer's wife, blushes substantially and whispers into her husband's ear something, and he's like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Give me an insight check, Copius. Copious will wish him a good day as he leaves. One! Totally oblivious. <laughs> you go outside. Uh, you, Felix, Robert, straight up D20. One or two, you're getting the old poop eye. Not 20. <laughs> Scraping run. Copious opens the door. <laughs> Splatto! <laughs> yeah, isn't that the story of your life always getting shit on? You look down and you see Felix and Robert without chili uh, discussing something underneath an awning next to Georgina's. <laughs> I, You know what? Copious, as soon as that happens and he sees them, he's just going to look at right at Robert and go, I don't know how, I don't know why, but I know that's your fault. That's he's just going to mouth it across the alley at him. 
you, as he's cleaning himself off. You got a little something, not so much here or here, but right about, right about here. here. You got a little <laughs> something. Quit shit talking. <laughs> It's, it's got a distinctly red color. About <laughs> it. Uh, so, Lee. Wait, wait. I'm going to clean it off and I'm casting infestation at Robert as soon as he turns away. Fair enough. Uh, uh, how much for the supplies? I got uh, the filters, but I didn't get a price for the supplies. Uh, D12 against me. 10. Two. You're going to get them at a really good deal uh, for the amount that you want. 70 gold pieces. 70. Uh, oh, that's great. That's a, that's a great price. <laughs> this tartan plaid guy is really helping you out. Mick oh, Mickle is Mickle's a good guy. He's a mensch. Good mensch. I guess I won't burn his place down. <laughs> I can't guarantee it on the other hand. I was gonna say <laughs> I don't, I'm not looking at you burning shit down. <laughs> well, no, if I burnt shit down, that would kill copious. Uh <laughs> Leaf, uh, do you want to take the supplies with you or have it delivered to the boat? I'm going to have him have him deliver them. How quick How quick can I get him down to the boat? Hour. Okay, I'll have him deliver them down to the boat. Better hope it's quick the way it's going. With business concluded, uh, do you want to go out and find your friends? Yes. D20. Damn birds. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hate this. 13. I don't know. You're fine. Uh, you come out just as copious as <laughs> I'd be like, what happened to you, Copious? And what's that smell? Uh, Felix, are you ready to go up to the pink house? Uh, if business is concluded and we're just waiting for nightfall, it's like, well. What time no, is hold it? On, Co hold on there, Felix. There's a, there's a flock coming by. <laughs> I'm going to hide under the awning for a second until they uh, pass. I, I'd say a flock of birds. I'm getting my ass under an awning, too. It's like the bombings. you got to hide under something. Just strafing run. <laughs> you guys, no, it's not coming at you. Man Fang, give me D20. <laughs> 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 ah, ah, ah. <laughs> well, you can't get any uglier, so shut up. It may uh, be Spackle for his giant scar. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> you know, I, I almost two. forgot about Frank's fascination about making animal shit on us and these shit underneath something and either you know, on us or someplace where we can fall into it. This would not That's be right. episode two hundred without poo. <laughs> <laughs> uh man fang uh you spy the individuals uh who you helped instruct you are unaware that they have pilfered your coins. What would you like well, to do? Um I'm going to actually stop moonwalking and run underneath something because I I don't want any in my eyes. Sure. Run away! Run away! Run away! You are in front of the second level with us? No, he's on the first level. He is at the rusty hook underneath their awning. Uh, I'm going to uh, ask Robert what happened to man thing. He moonwalked off in that direction. He went somewhere else. I was I thought he was going with you. And thing, the two waitresses that served you food last night and seem to have a thing for copious uh, have arrived at the establishment and ask if you are going in. No, I'm hiding from the bombing that is commencing. Has it stopped or, just, or do I just look crazy? You look crazy. All right. <laughs> Why well, I wipe stuff on my face, I was just... It's you're, stuff happened. You're covered I will impress the ladies. Yeah. Talking about bombing. Hey, There's nothing. Best exactly. man thing. Best thing to wipe shit off your face with is a, is a half like Just pick them up. And... Well, okay, this, this is, is why light reach is going to get burned. <laughs> so do, do you want to go in and get a big old bear hug and just bury your face in those bosoms and go, oh, good to see ya. <laughs> I, I'm glad the dad said <laughs> that. Yep. Yes, use Peta. I'm telling a dad's mother. Go ahead. So, right. Man Fang, do you want to go in and eat or no? No, I'm just going to. Is there like anywhere I could like find a bit of water to just. Yeah, there's a whole out. ocean in front of you. <laughs> You're on the dock. <laughs> you can wait out like Jesus if you want. Aww. <laughs> 
Go take a dive and then climb back out. I don't think I can dive with metal. Don't dive. Walk out into the water. You go diving, it's going to be too shallow and somebody's going to roll a dice and you're going to bust your head open. Walk. Or worse, you're going to be in the wheelchair. The wheelchair mini. Yep. I'm just going to go back. So you can go down it down to the shoreline and kind of clean yourself. Yeah. Up. That's what I will do. Okay. So I don't uh, get pink eye. Yeah, that's right. the least. No, you got it's not pink eye, it's stink eye. Yeah, you're gonna no, have tadpool eye is what you're gonna have. I get that uh, with his mother. <laughs> Ow. Uh the other four, Felix, Leaf, Copius, and Robert. Uh it's about eleven o'clock. Uh Robert's chili was devoured quickly by the avian life here, and business has returned to normal. There are no two unconscious halflings. They have uh, departed, we'll say. Do we see a crowd moving around with the day? I want to, I'm want. i keeping an eye out for red-vested halflings. Sure. Uh, yeah, it, it's busy. It's, uh, it's high noon. Uh, yesterday was the religious holiday, so everybody's playing catch-up. There's people moving to and fro on the stairs and crisscrossing uh, to different spots. Give me a uh, perception check. No. Nine. Uh, you do not see any red vests at the current time. Now I'm going to ask, let's pop back into the, the, the uh, <coughs> merchant teal and ask him if there's a weapons shop around. Third floor, go to the pink house. You hang a left. Uh, it's up against the cliff. Okay. I'll go back out and tell Copius I want to go up to the weapon shop and check it out while we got time to kill. Yeah, you got to walk right past the pink house. Third floor, just to the left of the pink house, up against the cliff. Next I to the to... orange jewels. Oh, yeah, I also need to go to the weapon shop. What, to get your saber polished? <laughs> yes. As you yeah, the weapon the, shop. That's that's where I'm. As you go. reach the third floor, there is <laughs> yes. oh, the pink house. Uh, My bad. Let me let me correct what I just said to get your dirk polished. Ooh. Ooh. Not according to the picture. Ask uh, the cartographer's <laughs> wife. <laughs> By that the was, way, they good. have no children. <laughs> Screwed. <laughs> uh, up on the third floor, uh, Leaf. You that house see. is burning down. The cartographer's <laughs> on the list. As soon as he tried to shake his down twice. <laughs> hey, you don't know that. <laughs> uh, that's out of game knowledge. Uh, oh, no, no. He was shaking us down twice. <laughs> Whether he had a child or not, he was shaking us down. I believe he was just shaking you down. <laughs> the fire god is his own beast. He will it can devour and consume whatever house <laughs> feels is necessary for the sacrifice. Uh, as you reach the, the fire. Fire. as you reach the top level, a strange sight is present. You see the pink house to the right, which we'll just call it Felix's house. Over to the left, you see the armor shop. However, you see a line of mules atop them are halflings the lead halfling is dressed in crushed red velvet with a wide brimmed hat with what appear to be chicken feathers stuffed into the hat band of it uh farmers out in the field along the top level are greeting the individual warmly he appears to be a local hero of some type it's a nice hat Hmm. Copious will ask whoever's nearby if, if people are walking around who who's the the well dressed uh, halfling on the yep Rodrigo the Explorer why he's one of our nation's greatest heroes this uh, position what's he doing in town do we know yeah. I don't know but anytime he comes to town uh, the ladies need to hide their eyes because Rodrigo is quite the charmer is Robert nearby. All four of you are right next to each other. Robert, I'm going to say it so no one else can hear. Now, did you cast infestation on Robert? I did, yes. Okay, fair he, enough. He's covered in fleas and mites and louse and stuff. So he's trying to talk to me? Yes. <laughs> oh, buddy. Now, I know that Robert would never do that to Copius. Uh, not uh, since he saw the picture. 
<laughs> hey, Black Label is one of the best selling bitters blends ever. Gotta be. <laughs> it will be. Okay, what do you want to tell Robert? Robert, I think that guy on the mule needs to die. I agree. Needs to die. <laughs> then we burn down the village. <laughs> yes. Hiring me. Uh, 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 gentlemen, let me check out the armor shop first. Uh, you're not yeah. there. I'm How just talking this? to Robert. I'm, I'm right there with you. All four of you are together. I, I'm whispering to Robert so nobody can hear. Okay. General gather in their masses. <laughs> um, so what do you say we all just take about an hour or so, hour and two minutes, and we just meet right back here in an hour and two minutes. Something. All right. I'm, I'm going in the pink house while Leaf is going into the other so I can uh, yep. talk to the madam before we leave town. I'm going to look around for the best burn spots to start fires. That would be the fields. So let's all separate again. Correct. I'm in the pink house. Uh, Felix and Copius are headed to the pink house. Leaf is headed to the uh, weapons shop. Yes. And Robert is tooling around the sheaves of wheat uh, that are have been gathered and are very flammable. Uh, down oh, below, okay. however, Manfang, you have come out from the safety and security of the awning of the Rusty Hook. Uh, you see no avian life at this time. Uh, you step out. What would you like to do? Didn't you go wash yourself? Yeah, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I stepped back on you. Oh. I'm going to go to where they said they're going to go, to the um, cartographer, because I'm pretty sure I don't know there's left yet. Sure. That, sure. that works for me. And... Uh, as you go up the steps, give me a perception roll. Cool. It don't matter what your plus is. Yeah, three. no, I don't know there. You yet. feel a tugging on your jerkin, and you turn around, and it's the two ballroom dancers you instructed uh, and they have two of their friends yep. they would like now to know if now you, you got 20 gold <laughs> now I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab my coin purse hold it very tight hold it so they can't get it in and get in it frankie that's not your coin purse son <laughs> I, I i think that's what felix is going to be doing <laughs> family jewels okay so you you grab your coin purse at these oh. four halflings two of which are dressed in red vests uh hey, they are curious Oi, I uh, understand that you, uh, you're a dancer, a princey man. Uh, <laughs> show us how, uh, how, how, do, how we do this. He just right. called you a wuss, son. I'm going to say, this is, how we, this, this is, is how, how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the 80s just made a comeback. <laughs> and I'm going to proceed to teach them all the moonwalk while also holding my coin purse very tightly so they can't get in it. Show them Pretty how sure that's it. how you're supposed to do it anyway. The Abe. 80s showed up when you brought up flock of seagulls, dude. <laughs> I, I was I so wanted to hear <laughs> Iran. <laughs> None of you took the bait on it. Oh, uh, I wasn't about hey. to. Uh, I didn't hear it. Manfang, uh, your butt gets a little pitch from the okay. young lady that what you. What are you gonna do? I will turn and say yes. Hey, 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 hey. The guy in front of you taps you on the shoulder. Hey, hey, you're teaching me, my friend. Come on. Sorry. Hey, come on. Come on. Make teach me. Teach me. Water. Come on. Get up cool. and dance. I want to see it. Get up and dance. Come on. They're groping and stealing from me. Throw in the water. Give me a uh, insight check, please. Run, man, fang, run. What are you, fuck, three, Oh, we got to kill all these damn halflings. That's a nine plus what? Four? That's 13. You got a 15 on the roll. You said you had 36 left? I had 30. <laughs> I told you. But I, I was holding 20. my coin purse. I have a D30. Oh. You have 27 now. <laughs> you know what? At this point, they're just going to steal all of it. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So I'm going to They, they thank you for the dance, but it's just not for them. Uh, good day, my friend. Perhaps you'll see us later. Sure. I hope not. I'm going to go uh, up to the building. You as, you go, as you go up to the I second floor, it. you hang a right, you go to the cartographer shop. They're not there. Cool. I'll go keep looking. Pink house. Can I help you? Uh, I was looking for my friends. Were they here by any chance? Uh, the, you know what? Let's see which one's answering. Oh, oh yes. 
Uh, all right. One of, your, one of your friends was here just a few moments ago. The tall, strapping young lad. Hmm. <laughs> I <right>. wasn't there. <laughs> all right. Where where did they go? I believe he was going to that pestilent pit, the pink house. All right. It is a nasty place. I, I agree. So I guess I'll go get them from there and tell them I guess I'm here. As you as you go up to the third floor uh, or the third level, uh, you do not see Felix. You do not see Copius. They are both inside. You do not see Leaf. He is inside the weapon shop. But you do notice Robert is moving around the sheaves of wheat in the fields. I'm going to go ask him what he's doing. I think we all know what he's doing. Uh, yeah, in the weapon the shop, Leaf, uh, the proprietor, is there. He has a bright yellow tunic on uh, that appears uh, to have carbon scoring. Clearly, he has been sharpening uh, using a whetstone. Uh, boy, can I help you? I'd like to look at your weapon selection. What kind of weapons do you got. want, my friend? Uh, like, uh, I've kind of like to stick with my scimitar as much as possible, or mace. D12 against me. Nope, that's a D20. <laughs> 10. 12. Well, you're in luck. I got two. One of each, my friend. I uh, got it from a trader not too long ago. This I'll one, take... the scimitar, is yeah. etched with an image of a, 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 a serious battle. And you look cast at... detect magic. Uh... Yes. I'll take a look. As you, as you look at it, it's got a, a mundane bronze handle on it with a bronze uh, guard piece. Uh, the scimitar blade itself is etched uh, very well detailed in the form of some historic battle. Give me an arcana check. Uh, arcana plus two. Uh, 20. Dirty. The Battle of Durgan's Peak is Durgan's Peak. Uh, bass relief I on it. it. <laughs> it's a. It was a very uh, important battle because, uh, like the three hundred, uh, overwhelming forces were pushed back. But was that a halfling battle, or is that from it, the mainland or something? It was from the mainland. That is not okay. halfling. Well, uh, so I'll, I'll heft the blade, get a feel for it. Uh, feels nice, real yeah, nice. It's got a nice feel. Very for it. Uh, fluid. Well, what are you? What are you? What are you looking at here? How much? D twelve. Or nice you can roll a persuasion. Up. Your choice. Uh, sure, I'd rather roll persuasion. Sure, go ahead. Uh, eighteen. Uh, uh, this thing is. Just between you and me, I think this thing is magical. Uh, magical. I don't doesn't I, feel. Oh yes, it's very light, but it conforms. It slices through the air like nobody's business. Ah, uh, <laughs> I could not part with that for seven hundred. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look oh at the etching, the bass relief on it, the beauty yeah. of it, the point. Not... The point is very sharp. Yeah, and I'll pull out mine and show it. But see, I've got a mine is pretty sharp. It's a little heavier than this one, though. This one's got a, a nice feel to it. So how about uh, in a trade for the this one? This is I've a piece got. of shit. <laughs> well, let, let me see if I can persuade you that it's not a piece of shit. That's another it, eight. That's another eighteen. It is uh, not magical, correct? No, that's an, another eighteen. A uh, piece of shit might have been uh, uh, rough, but uh, it's certainly no blade. I mean, this is a... This... How about 600 and my blade? <clears throat> roll low, roll low. 625 in your blade. Okay, I'll do that. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to have to go <laughs> rob somebody here pretty soon. I was going to say the ship stores are getting awfully low. Uh, the blade is the Battle of Durgan's Peak, and it is a plus one scimitar. Would you like hey! to see the mace? 
Yes, I would like to see the mace. Uh, how long does your detect magic spell work? Uh, about an hour, I think. This one's blue as well. Uh, it's pretty beaten up. It looks like it's got a circular stone wrapped in steel bands uh, on an iron shank. It feels okay, but it is definitely no magical blade. I got two stones attached to an iron shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably just yeah, a this rock. This bomb. <laughs> so it's glowing blue, but it doesn't feel... Some days, mine glow. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it glows blue tonight for that color. <laughs> uh, how about an insight check, Lee? <laughs> I heard what you said on that stupid show. <laughs> That's a plus eight. 26. Uh, it's magical. There's just something a little bit off. Uh, it handles okay. It's almost top heavy. Before it's magical. Game. That's what she said. <laughs> can't stop. <laughs> you really can't. I need Anison. That's what she said. <laughs> so there's no way without taking it somebody to find out what the magical properties are, is there? That is correct. Yeah. I, I believe Cedric Gington is on our map now. And it, it is a well traveled uh, shipping route, by the way. Mm. And it's on the other side of where the pirates at. Mm. Who says we're not going to pirate? Okay, I mean, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to stop right there. I think I'd hope our money pockets. I'm not. Uh, low. <laughs> beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah, oh, I you, just read off what I, I read. Captain Spendthrift over here. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, y'all, Mister, uh, let me go buy some whores, and yeah, I don't want to hear it. He stole money, my though. share of the treasure. Somebody He's else is paying people, money that you paying people to, to go buy supplies. Paying people to copy porn. Don't argue about me getting a weapon. You know, I'm just saying, I haven't spent a damn dime, and everybody else is spending everything. I've only, I just I've want only, to point out, I'm the one that paid the bill on all the stuff we had to get back that was our goods to take back to the ship. That is true. If you would have let me burn the place down when we first got here, never would have the place down after we got our stuff. The, uh, now, what have you got in the way of uh, shields? Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, Felix is guilty. I'm just pissing away the money. No, we're going to be poor. He only has uh, half lane equipment. Yeah, that won't armor. do me good. Hardly cover my nads. You, you can use one as a buckler, though. <laughs> nope. I'm it's got right. a Let's silver and boss center yeah. with a naked mermaid on it. You could use the shields as breastplates. A buckler with a naked mermaid. It's actually a small. Is that glowing blue by any chance? It is not glowing blue, but it is certainly an item of noteworthiness. Oh, that's nice. I'm not much into pictures. You know, the door bursts open. His birthday is coming up. The door bursts open, and a man in crushed red velvet enters. Tis I, Rodrigo. Here to sell some merchandise, my friend. Uh, the proprietor in the yellow uh, jerkin says, Rodrigo, my apologies. I am with this customer. Uh, we are wrapping up business as we speak. Well, hurry. I have stuff that you will want. All right, I'm done. We will flip over to Felix and Copious. Inside, Copious, your friend and... Ruler of the Bordello greets you warmly with a big old kiss on each cheek because she's probably French and then gives you a quick pat on the ass and says, I was wondering if I would ever see you again. <laughs> and your coin purse is 20 coins light. I, yeah, probably. I've just come to accept the fact that everywhere I step, I'm going to lose money in this place. Go ahead and give me a insight check. Which one? Felix? She was nowhere near your coin purse. <laughs> Ish. Ish. Uh, Ish. Copious will <laughs> greet her warmly and ask if she has time for uh, a drink while Felix takes care of his business. Did you bring some of that wonderful liqueur of yours? I did not bring that because yeah, that's the special brand, but I do have my normal flask with me. Well, 
with your company, I'm sure it will taste as sweet as any berry. Would you like to stay here and drink, or would you like to go elsewhere? Uh, is It's a nice day out, right? It is a nice day as long as the birds aren't pooping. Yeah, let's go outside where birds can poop on us again, because what's a 200th episode without scatology, right? That's true. You got you to gotta have the scat. As you and uh, the lovely lady leave, you see Man Fang lost as hell wandering around. <laughs> hey, you guys! And that is exactly what he does. <laughs> uh, you cannot help yourself, but... Uh... And she asks, <laughs> You're special. do you know that individual? He's hey, a special me, I know you. Hey, he's a very special member of crew. He, he's waving over the short half leads. Do you see me, Santa? <laughs> it's me, Santa. it's funny. Yeah, oh. Uncle Copius, Uncle Copius, exactly. Uh, if you've seen Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, you know how this one's going to play out. Don't They've been running that damn the show on the, the fork on that one channel every day. Excuse uh, me, can I go to the restroom? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, she's. Do you need to talk to this? No. no. Man, friend, you see him. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm gonna start stepping over top of people. <laughs> I'm trying to get over to him. Just, hey, <laughs> you got uh, zero points now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Mister? You finally, that was a lady, and you shouldn't have looked that way. <laughs> We're doing the pyramid at cheerleader camp. Uh, Copius, <laughs> your associate has uh, bungled his way into your tete a tete. Uh, Manfang, what do you want to ask him? <laughs> Where's everybody else? Uh, I think they're all in the, the, the shop, the, the weapon shop, right there. I'm pointing at the shop that Leaf is in. The one that was to the left and just down. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Hey, and you're welcome. Thanks. Well, and you're, I will you're playing that and tell us. rather oh, special. Yeah. Yeah. But wait, now I gotta, but wait, I gotta moonwalk away. <coughs> Give me another Keep performance back. check. Yeah, you're so falling over somebody. With three. your three, he falls. You off. slipped on some bird poop. Because it's 200 episodes. Did he fall so. on somebody? Can he roll to fall on somebody? D12 against me. If I win, you bet he did. Yeah. Let's start a fight. He rolled a three again. I uh, suck. You know what? Go ahead and give me an insight check as you tackle somebody. Rodrigo! 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 <laughs> roll a one. Hi, Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> So you had 27 left, right? Yeah, I have zero left at this point. At this point, I'm just going to hand them If I roll a 28, like, you're going to be missing a shoot. <laughs> oh, you got lucky. Uh, drop another 10 off that pile. <laughs> I got seven. Uh, no. Uh, no. Copious, go ahead and roll D12 against me. Let's see if it was Rodrigo. Should I start pulling coins out of my pocket? Just oh, take it. Oh. 11. I rolled 11. We roll. I rolled an 11 as well. Seven. Twelve. Not Rodrigo. It was the mayor. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Well done. He fell on the mayor? Yeah. He fell on the mayor. We don't care. We don't like him either. He, he pushes Manfang off inside the Bordello. Felix, uh, your two friends, uh, spot you from the balcony. Hello! Hello! Doing the Queen Elizabeth wave. Hello! Oh, Good I thought they looked ladies. like Robin Williams and Mrs. Doubtfire. I was wondering what he's tagging up there. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually tagging Mrs. Doubtfire. No, they look more like Danny DeVito's mother on Thrill Mama from the train. Ah, yeah. Mrs. Uh, Alex! Mrs. Alex! Uh, God, what was her name? Alex! What was her name in The Goonies? Oh God, I can't oh, remember. Oh, yeah, it was bad. Fratelli. Fratelli. Mrs. Fratelli. <laughs> oh, no. uh, okay. okay, Felix. Uh, your two associates are up in the balcony and they yell loudly. Did you get the stuff that helps you? <laughs> sure did. Come on up. <laughs> I'm gonna run up the stairs and 
hopefully not trip on the way up. But yes, very excited to get in the stairs well, in the door. That sounded like a roll to me. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I got to say shit. <laughs> oh, he's going to trip trip and stab the tip and break it off in the ground. Mm -hmm. I don't know how those seagulls got inside the building. <laughs> how, many of those the windows. how many of those pouches did you have? Three? Four. Roll a D4. That's oh. how many you lose over the Damn balcony. It. Oh, just one. <gasps> uh, it lands close to a halfling who looks at it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the virility is aromatically changed him. Uh, as you get up, the girls escort you into the room. Uh, we'll go same as before. I guess there's sport. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, you know what? D12 against me. Let's and see. And now we commence. Thank you, thank you. We'd like to bring in another friend, if you don't mind, oh. as they're hitching you up to the bed. I don't think we're yes. old for that. It's Mrs. Well, Riggo. Riggo. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> what choice do I have at this point? <laughs> it is a friend of theirs, <clears throat> not female. Uh, wearing a mask with metal eye slits, carrying a stick wrapped in leather. Ooh, <laughs> You're going to get your money's worth today. <laughs> and then he's got a broom handle on the other hand. He proudly announces that he is the Gimp Master. <laughs> uh, maybe this is a little too intense for me. I'm going to a gag it goes into your mouth. Come here! Come here! Come here. I changed my mind! But he's not inside, so he didn't hear me. Fortunately, you can say the your spurs will jingle, jangle, jingle as you walk bow legged after your <laughs> don't don't worry, Felix. Use your safe word. What's the safe word? The safe word! Philadelphia. I, Philadelphia. <laughs> I felt a little tremble in the force. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand voices crying out in pain. Uh, <laughs> laughing, laughing in glee. Lee, Leaf, with your business concluded, the door bursts open and Manfang enters. Manfang, roll a d20. Let's see if you hit Rodrigo with the door. Cool. Oh, please hit him. I want to hit him score in the face. Oh, this is the one time I rolled six. What is he supposed to roll? Low, if he wants to hit him. A D12? D a D20. Oh, I rolled the wrong one then. He rolled a one. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> knocked Rodrigo out. I just had to open so Wham! 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 Hey, there you are! Hey! <laughs> I walk over and give him a big hug. Very I'm going to greet Man Fang warmly. <laughs> That's a nice shot, dude. Ah, uh, the guy in the yellow jerkin's like, oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, several coins, several jewels, and a small ivory box have fallen out of his pockets. Well, and I'm gonna the go guy in the yellow jerkin does not notice them at this time. And I will, I will whisper to Manfang, <laughs> scoop up the goodies while I keep this guy's attention elsewhere. Manfang, yeah, intelligence will. check. <laughs> Come on, Manfang. You can I, do it, buddy. I Big number. Positive. Big number. You know what? It's the fact that we get to play heroes that makes this game no, so wild. Yeah. He rolled a three. Negative, Wrong negative goodies. Six, negative three. Wrong goodies there, Manfang. The goodies on the floor. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> ah. Uh, he moves Rodrigo over. You get a handful of gems and coins. I want to... 45. What about and you pick up a small square ivory box. All right, cool. I'm going to stash it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to proceed to put it in Leaf's hands. It's going to be better there than with mine. I would agree. I would concur wholeheartedly. All right, I'll, I'll slip it in. I'll slip it into my pouch. Yeah. Uh, Leaf, do you want to be the good guy and give a cure light wounds to Rodrigo? Sure, I'll wake him up. Man uh, thing, you, you might want to get out of here. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right. I'm going to continue to leave. And I'll, wait, before I leave, where's everybody else? 
What's that? He's Where's asking you. I, I couldn't hear what he said. Where is everybody else? They're over in a pink house. Go. go. If you go, listen to me. This place is full of pickpockets. Get your <laughs> coin purse. Hang your coin purse around your neck and tie it shut. All right. Don't let any of these little people get close to you, especially they're the not, ones in the red vests. <coughs> they will rob you blind. They're not elves. They're little people. They're thieves. They're all thieves. <laughs> Including the mayor. Stay away from the thieves. I'll, I'll say the mayor, those coins dropped out of your coin purse into the mayor's pocket. He by no means ripped you off. I, I'm lighting a straw on fire. All right, cool. So I'm going to send him out. With and then I'll go ahead and throw with the coin purse up, around up. the neck and everything going on. Yep. Yes. I'm going to hold my neck like I'm one of those people. You know? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. No. Yeah, exactly. I can you hardly wait till his I'll first a, Chicago yeah, field trip. trip. <laughs> That'd be a, one of those Woody Allen people. Okay, Leaf, uh, you've successfully gotten him out. You yeah. wake up Rodrigo. I'll go ahead and wake up Rodrigo. Uh, the yellow tunic says, this man has saved your life from a concussion. You may now play in the NFL. There you go. But uh, two he, more, you're going to have to retire. He, he graciously thanks you and says, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit befuddled. Thank you. Uh, you are on my way out. See you later. And thank you for the business. Okay. Uh, you walk out with your new shiny scimitar that only you can see. Uh, that only you could see? Well, it's blue. The, the blue. Uh, boy, you could have sworn you heard like a yell or something from the pink house. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A little. I felt a disturbance in the, in the farce. <laughs> uh, give me a... Uh, perception check copious give me a perception i check. don't think i want to make this roll <laughs> damn it 22 15 both of you smell uh smoke uh Ooh, cool. leaf, you smell it strongly copious you not so much because uh your entertaining host is jibber jabbering on about how your uh hair is looking much better uh i can only imagine what you'll look like once you grow it out uh but I... she's she's glad that it's at least parting in some ways yeah i'm, I'm going to present her with a gift and see how she responds to the the extra copy of the painting of felix as a, as a lasting memento of our our uh, uh, business relationship. That's a messed up. We're all you know, if she vomits. You know what? I'm going to let Felix roll this one. Roll me a d20 to see how she likes it. Oh, come on, natural 20. Nat 20, nat 20. 15. You know? Is this for me? It is for her. You know what? I'm not a fan of the big people, but this speaks. Neither am I. <laughs> this speaks to me. Would you mind if I hung it up in my establishment? Uh -huh. Possibly. I, I hope. Bar. Right in the lobby. Oh, yeah. I, hope. I thought oh, it would yeah. go great right above the bar. Could we swing by the carpenter real quick, see if he can get a frame cooked up? Yes. I'd be oh. happy to go with you. Uh, she takes you over to the carpenter shop, Jesus, uh, and asks if he can go ahead and fashion a really cool looking frame. I caught uh, that reference, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joseph and Jesus's carpentry shop. Carpentry. <laughs> uh, he's like, oh, yeah, sure, I can do that. Uh, give me an hour. Jesus. You know what? Give me a half hour. Uh, she thanks him. Uh, and leads you back to uh, the little bistro on the second level that you had not spotted before. It's in an alleyway between two places. There's some nice flowers on it, uh, and it overlooks the bay. Uh, and you sit down to have a pleasant meal uh, and the alcohol. Wonderful. And I don't see smoke anywhere on the horizon. <laughs> after you, can, you can smell it, but you don't know where it's at. It. Okay. Your, your ship is intact. So, That's all that I care about at the moment. Yeah, not coming from your ship. Anything you want to ask her about the recent events? 
Um, since we're having such an enjoyable time, I'm going to I'm going to ask her or reference to her that we we have had some interesting interactions with some of the local youth. Um, several of our items uh, came up missing, and I'll try to be very uh, sly and coy as I'm having the discussion with her to see if she <laughs> will provide any information about the the basically the bank thieves that we've dealt with for the last two days. Oh, hon. You know how can't horrible. keep their hands in their pockets. This place is filled with thieves. Everybody steals from everyone else. Is there, is, is, and the gendarmes just allowed to occur? Sometimes the gendarmes are victims. Sometimes they are suspects. The is, only ones we don't steal from is Lear. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask an... Uh, I, <coughs> You know, I would never dream personally of stealing from Lear um, since we've made donations, but but no one ever... I stole. heard. I heard your associate, the individual in the picture, made a rather regaling speech. He is quite the regaler. That's what my girls tell me, too. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> he likes your girls a lot. Well, they say he's a talker. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> so he uh, copious will say it uh, again. Ask uh, uh, some questions about the thief issues we had on side our ship. Um, some of the the ones who had stolen some things. It was reported that they uh, swam away at quite an unusual speed. Is there? Something unusual about the youth in this area? Have you not had any of the kelp pellets? Kelp pellets? No, I'm, I'm not even aware. Is that something Georgina prepares? Yes, Georgina. They're uh, thin coin-sized wafers, communion size, uh, and they allow the youth, which enjoy it, uh, to breathe an extended period of time underwater. Our, we saw some cliff divers when we were coming into the, the harbor. Do they tend to do it from the cliff then and take the kelp pellets and dive? Mm -hmm. They pop in the uh, kelp pellet, uh, dive off, and then swim the entire length of the bay. It, it's quite astonishing, but it is hardly feet worthy. It is medicinal. Huh. I, I think I, I would be really interested to see how that operates. I bet Felix would get it, enjoy trying that at some point. I understand uh, Georgina has helped him before with his shortcomings. He has many <laughs> shortcomings. Very, very shortcomings. I, I would not know. Very. Uh, moving over to Man Fang, uh, you see the smoke. Uh, Robert has already told you he was setting the wheat on fire. You see a small collection of farmers with pitchforks gathering. I'm going to go ask them what they're doing. We're gonna go kill that son of a bitch for setting our stuff on fire. Well, why would you do? Why would you kill him? Why can't you just? That's him? our food source. Are you with him? I mean, you could always no, but you could always grow more. There's no. They poke you in the chest. Are you sure you aren't with him? Why would I be? They why poke your chest be? again. That would be like this. <laughs> you just get a hand from down here. Hey, you. Hey, you. <laughs> That's not your chest. Uh, give me an insight check. <laughs> They're picking your pockets again. Yeah. Insight chat. There you go. I gotta grow my bag. I gotta grow my bag. Hey, you rolled a 19. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this time you catch them red handed. Okay. Kill them. How you tall are these hands? I'm gonna push them away. Uh, uh, compared to him, up to his thigh. Yeah. So they're reaching way to hell up to get that. Kill. You're not my money side. bag. Yep. My son would kill him. There Shut are eight up. of them. Eight, eight of farmers them. with pitchforks. And they're standing. He's out in front of the weapon shop mm -hmm. that I just come out of. Yep. And they're confronting him. Yeah. You are currently healing Rodrigo in a variance of the Okay, timeline. I'm trying to get the timeline down. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So he went outside, ran into the farmers with pitchforks. Uh, you are going to be out in about two rounds. So what do you want to do with them there, Man Fang? Push them away. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, so nice. They lower their pitchforks and they're like, you better not be part of that guy. No, I'm not. 
Yeah. Well, let's go, guys. And they storm towards the steps and head on up. They're going to go deal with Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it started now. Uh, Leaf, you step oh. outside. You notice a... I rolled the bones. <laughs> a horde of, horde of angry halflings <laughs> headed out. Uh, they appear to have just talked to Manfang, but you aren't sure what it is. I'll go up to Manfang and ask him what's going on. They're going to kill Robert. I didn't stop him. Do what? You know, just the normal stuff. <laughs> They're going to kill Robert because he's burning their crops. I'll look. I can see the smoke, I assume. Yes. He's Wonderful. Why is he burning their wheat fields? Because, you know, we're going to burn the town, so he just started there, I guess. Let me ask you a question, DM. Yep. Does my thundercloud spell include rain? I'll allow that. This could go really bad real quick. You notice I'm not saying much. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm on the second level, though, right? You are away from this mess. Yep. Just checking. Copious I'm going to head that sport. way and tell Manfang we got to go uh, help Robert get this settled down before it escalates. Oh, Manfang, no. Manfang and Leaf, perception check. I'm sorry. That was a big word. Before it gets worse. 14. 22. Come on, Manfang. Uh, that's eight. Can't hear it. Manfang doesn't see squat. Uh, Leaf, you notice on the other side there appear to be additional farmers with pitchforks. Uh, inside the brothel, Felix, you are getting worked over like a bad puppy uh, when you hear a shout because they haven't plugged your ears yet uh, with a hot wax that they are preparing. Uh, you hear, hey, hey, we're going to kill somebody. Uh, the Gimp Master turns around. I'll be back <laughs> and runs outside. Uh, Leaf and Manfang, as you're going up to the third level, you see an individual come out in leather assless chaps and a leather harness with silver buckles on it, wearing a mask, carrying a leather covered rod. Copious, uh, you and the brothel manager are having a wonderful time. Uh, the food here is light fair uh but very delicious the company is charming uh but she is going to guzzle that flask again i brought the cheaper brew it's okay and she knows it <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, anything you want to do to cut uh short you hear a, a slight din uh, uh, on the levels above you uh, at this point, I, he's just going to keep having a <clears throat> polite conversation. This is a, hopefully going to be a mutually beneficial long-term relationship from Copius's perspective. I, I, uh, think, I think that is a reasonable assumption currently. Uh, yes, Robert, give me a perception check. Nine. That's As nine. you dance around the fire like Tom Hanks... <laughs> I have created fire! Uh, I got you, flames coming out of my hands. You do not see the angry horde coming up behind you. Uh, filled like with a goblin. <laughs> merchants, uh, farmers, and a few gendarmes. Uh, Leaf, Manfang, you are right in the middle of Pomona at the running of the bulls here. Damn it. Uh, and they're going after Robert. I'm going to cast I'm going to cast yes. that call lightning <laughs> spell. I'm going to cast it to uh, come down in the field itself. You said it's going to, I can, it'll have rain with it. So, but it Maybe. will call down lightning, correct? I know. Right. As long as I keep it away from everybody, it's all right. And I do have control to do that. So, <laughs> so. Not exactly on the flaming, uh, the burning man that Robert has constructed, but in the field. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Just the, just uh, past it where I can center it where to put out the flames. Okay. I can strike the lightning on top of them and then they. 
Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, give me a performance check for. I mean, at least. Or, well, what what is your and use your wisdom modifier? That's your spellcasting ability, right? Wisdom modifier is plus five. Yeah, go ahead and do a performance with uh, your wisdom modifier. All right. That'd be a sixteen. Okay. Uh, your mathematics are correct. The Pythagorean theorem that you came up with does go ahead and adjudicate that the angles are on the right manner. Uh, a lightning strike hits the field that has already been harvested, but the gentle shower of rain sprinkles down, covering Robert in a fine liquid as well as his burning man of sheaf of wheat. You have also protected the other sheaves of wheat uh, that were not set on fire at this time. Okay. The crowd reaches the top level. Oh, uh, you do not even need to roll, Robert. You hear the cacophony of anger behind you as the little people have come up to deal with your ass. And they it's say, right. what are you doing, Shorty? <laughs> <laughs> Call me Shorty? Yeah, who called you Shorty? Aren't you the bird guy? <laughs> bird guy. <laughs> bird guy. Bird guy. I am the hand of Kosu. You are getting the church of the fire god. Bird guy, bird guy, you need glasses to see. Your your, your patches of half orc hair are being matted by the rain, making you look uh, let's see. Uglier? Less menacing. <laughs> Uh, there's a, a lot of them, and you see two people standing head and shoulders above this angry horde, uh, probably going, yeah, kill that guy. <laughs> uh, you recognize yeah. Leaf and Manfang have infiltrated the crowd, probably to assist you in the annihilation of the halflings of Lightreach. What would you like to, you know what, hold on, Leaf? Manfang and Robert. Roll initiative against each other. Nat 20. Six for Six. you. Oh, wait. Don't forget your ad. Ah, right. Seven. 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 Leaf? You're muted. You're muted, Leaf. 15. Uh, Nat 20. Robert, what you going to do when they come for you? How close are they? Uh, I'll give them 20 feet. And they're they're semi-circling out. They obviously mean business. I'm going to give them five more feet before I attack. Leaf the Druid, you're up next. What would you like to do? I'm stopping right where I'm at. I've got control of the storm right at the moment. And I must tell Manfang, don't go any closer. All right. Manfang, what are you going to do? I'm going to go closer. <laughs> you, you play your character amazingly. It does. I it can does. see him doing that. <laughs> hey, don't go closer. Okay. The uh, only thing you could count on is you've got enough hit points. You ain't gonna die when this bolt comes down. Yeah. Also, I forgot. I, I was gonna say, when does the bolt hit? <laughs> Real soon. That's okay. four die ten. Ah, uh, man, this is gonna be costly uh <laughs> the leader of the rabble steps forward and demands of you robert hey hey douchebag why are you burning down my crops you have stolen from kusa one too many times oh, and the church of the oh. fire god element will burn Man. you all to hell let me mute it. They, they, they they look at Ooh. each other Really got into the moment. Kasuth, it's like uh, when Marty McFly yells at Biff Tannen and he doesn't understand. That's okay. Those are pretty strong words, Shorty. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, there. Felix. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're still gagged. <laughs> Uh, copious, uh, uh, the dessert round has arrived and it is delightful. There's a little mint leaf on some cheesecake. The, the discussion between you and your new business associate is fantastic. And there is not anything that could ruin this day. Back up to Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
the crowd's shit. angry and your eloquent speech is taking them off a step. Yeah, no. Are they about 15 foot away from me now? Yeah, they're about 15 foot away. Okay, I'm going to cast Thunderclap. Am I 15 foot or away? Or Thunder Wave. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. You're about 15 foot away at least. There, Nat man. 20. Cool. Good enough. Oh, boy. Enough. So you so, center the Thunderclap. Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. So two die eight. And that's what? Type, we'll roll it twice. Four. It's I natural it 20. 20. Oh, uh, yes. I got it, buddy. <laughs> you got it? Yes. I rolled a 19. Good Damn job. It. Good job. Uh, did they get a save on that? Yeah. Constitution save. Yep. I will roll it in threes. Just dividing the group. Uh, that 20, a 9, and a 4. What do I need? It says con 11. Uh, full damage on a third, no damage on a third, and half damage on a third. Because that nat 20, that'll be the back row back where Leaf is. Uh, Man Fang, go ahead and roll me that constitution roll. <laughs> Let's see if we can go bowling for halflings. Oh my god, he rolled a five. But my constitution save is plus six, so it's 11. 11 plus six. Yeah, very good, son. So there you go. Uh, how much damage are you dishing out? 19? Yes. Ow. So he takes uh, half damage. Round down, so nine. And zero. Uh, Copious. Frankie, that's did, you. You took nine damage. Nine did damage. you just oh, yeah. hear something? <laughs> so, I, I'm looking up thinking it's a weather, right? Because it's a boom. I'm going, is it a thunderclap? Yeah, it's it's, coming this time of year? Blue skies. Can you see clouds. the lightning? Nope. He's down on the second level up <laughs> up against the back. He can't see. You'll see it when it moves. That's a, it sounded like a thunderclap. Yeah, that's what I thought. So... <laughs> where, where do you see yourself going next? <laughs> well, and I'll tell her we're planning on going Cinder again. But is there any any uh, is she aware of anything that sells well? Because we are a trading vessel. We're interested in taking any goods that we can purchase here to sell in Cedric Ning? Not well, in Cedrington, uh, that is the home of magic, if you are unfamiliar with it. Uh, they they are a port city, if that's where you're going to. Their main port city is uh sleet harbor uh That's exactly and, where we we're planning to go and uh well that is the capital so uh you can find many many options uh on trading opportunities at that city uh not so much for magic items because well clearly their mage whose name escapes me uh beacon bodum something Braden? That, Braden? Uh, yeah possibly Braden. uh he uh, he makes them. So he is a very old, very spindly wizard. Uh, my girls could take him in about the same time as they took your friend. <laughs> uh, Wait, me, that last part again? Oh, I think you heard it. But yes, they, uh, they can take the spindly old wizard just as fast as they took your friend. <laughs> Make sure that's... Uh, let's uh, play that one back a few more times. <laughs> that's my new ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, uh, Felix, uh, the girls, uh, we're going to have to cut this short. Uh, they release you from your bonds. Uh, last thing is your mouthpiece. Uh, and they actually give you some money back. You of course will need to see a doctor because it's been almost four hours and you're still raring to go. Uh, but you do get a partial refund. <laughs> uh, they have to close shop right now and you need to leave. Uh, you hear scurrying in the hallway outside as other patrons are being hurriedly rushed out. How much money do I get back from them? You get about five gold pieces back. Oh, that's barely any. Uh, they, what a they, ripoff. They, they had three of them working the other. 
Yeah, I know, but it cost me sixty for the hour. <laughs> Dude, they got overhead. I mean, yeah, I know. I, That's what I he was. Know, I don't know. <laughs> this is a ripoff. I'm going to leave a Yelp review that says I paid for services rendered and they were not rendered. I believe around here that'd be a kelp review. No, I uh, think yeah, given the gimp, it is a Yelp review. <laughs> Totally yeah, different. Yeah. That's, a yarp. Ah, that's a yarp. It's a yarp review. Yarp. <laughs> that's a yarp.net. Or more of a. Or more of a. Ah! So, I, Felix, I, uh, they're, they're tossing you your clothes. Uh, you got to get going. All right. I'm going to. I will not be happy, damn it. Give me a perception ah. check. Nat 20. Nicely done. As you leave along with a bunch of other patrons who are similarly upset at services not being completed, you notice there's some jackass hanging a picture of you over the entryway and it's you spread out. <laughs> it's a beautiful frame though. Did you do good work at Joseph and Jesus. I, I think Felix the is going to blow up. Jesus. <laughs> Jay, Jay Jay Park, standing you. there saying, if you could just paint me in right here. <laughs> The, the gimp is going to take a painting of him, cut his head off, and paste it up. <laughs> Outside, Robert, uh, you've knocked oh a good God. third of them on their ass. Another third have been pushed back, but the other third are now quite upset. Where's that third at? Uh, they are in the back, moving forward. They're like a Gatling gun. Oh, okay. Well, let me know when they're within 15 foot. Fair enough. They will have to move over the fallen bodies of their associates. Oh, my God. Uh, that leads us to leave. Now, wait a minute. Where, where is the leader at, though, before, before you pass me by? The leader was straight ahead of me. Oh, yeah. He's been knocked on his ass. The first wave failed the saving throw. The okay. second wave got half. The third wave was the natural 20. Is he within 60 foot of me, though? Oh, yeah. Easily. Okay, I'm putting a bonfire under his ass, then. You know he's unconscious. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, hell, here we go. Hey, Copious. You know, I don't think I could ask for a better day. <laughs> this is a lovely afternoon. I am going to remember this day for years. Yep. Uh, Leaf, your turn. <laughs> Where, where's the other group of farmers that were coming from across the field? No, they, everybody had moved into the Everybody's city to moved find in. the gendarmes, yeah. So it's Robert, the bull, uh, also Manfang, and you standing with a group of Nat 20, not having to worry about shit. Aside from, you know, your murderous homicidal associate. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget this day. <laughs> yeah, a really loud laugh. Laugh. I'll remember this on that long, cold voyage. As you escape. <laughs> please, I'm, please, please, from this town. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cast spike growth around in in front of dumbass, or I mean Robert. In front of Manfang? Oh, no, the other one. Gotcha. No. <laughs> Felix? Uh, <laughs> it's a 20-foot radius centered on a Don't point. So a I'll make it centered on Robert. Okay. Oh, right. That's fair. No saving throw, correct? Um, no. I no, so. no saving throw. Uh, uh, You've got you to gotta do a wisdom check when a spell is cast. Um. Against your spell save DC to recognize terrain as hazardous before entering it. Any uh, they, creature can't see. They recognize it and they aren't going near it. Okay. Robert, uh, you are now a Disney princess surrounded in a thorny tower. Go to sleep, beauty. Manfang, uh, you wake up. Who am I? Where am I at? Why am I running for VP? Uh, what do you want to do? I guess I'll get up. Yeah, am I inside the circle or outside of the circle? You are outside the circle. It is centered right. on Robert. Uh, everybody is being held at bay from the large growth by Maleficent, the Saint Druid. <laughs> I like that. I guess I'll ask, what's this? <laughs> it's, the, 
It's to keep them off of Robert. All right, cool. While we figure out what to do. I'm going to stand off, dust myself off. Anyway. I'm going to tell Manfang, go to the pink house and get Copious and Felix. Repeat right. that after me. Go to the pink house and get <laughs> Copious and Felix. Okay, go. George. Can I pet the bunny, George? I like the rabbit, George. Uh, Man Fang, are you going to go or are you going to moonwalk your way there? I'll go. Don't do that. Translation <laughs> yeah. is it's very tempting. Uh, I'm going to tell him no moonwalking. Just get your ass over there. <sighs> Man Fang, Fine. you're plowing through the little people. You charge into the pink house and you quickly discover a half dressed, irate Felix. Uh, go ahead, Felix. Open the door. What are you saying? <laughs> and then shut the door and go up the stairs. Walk upstairs. All right, wrong room. You saw the picture then. No, Every, everybody saw the picture. picture. No, I saw you half dressed. That was it. <laughs> I don't need to see the picture. I don't need to see any of it. They that. like me so much here, they hung my picture above the bar. Yeah, right. Customer they told the us that we all got to get out of here, so I. Go. Go. <laughs> go. <laughs> with so we got to wait for Copius. He's with the madam right now. Yeah, I'll get him. Just you know, out of yeah. all the days of my life, I can only count maybe two days better than this. One was the day I gave birth to my child, and one was the day I got married. No, wait. Let's move the day I got married and the day I got rid of that bum. This is a nice day. <laughs> it's a lovely day, man. <laughs> uh, no thunder clapping, so <laughs> we're good. Uh, my uh, question, Mr. DM, uh -huh. can Felix finish getting dressed if he's got a little Korea prison problem? I he will, but it'll look like a submarine with a parachute. Okay, very, okay. I just <laughs> very uncomfortable walking through a crowd of halflings right now. <laughs> hey there, hey there, hey there. <laughs> sorry, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, I'm not picking so that hard. guy's pocket. I don't think he has any pockets. <laughs> There'll be a lot of halflings running around with eye patches tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> ah, sorry, mister. And, and what, Felix, when you're ready to leave, you're going to see a mature woman turn her head and spot you. Ooh, just like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. Uh, you and uh, Manfang leave. Uh, you're telling Manfang that Copious is a wall uh up top you look over and you see just a ring of thorns leaf standing head to shoulders above the halfling shaking his head uh the halflings appear to be in full revolt what would you like to do besides uh, ask for compensation for having your life misused in advertisements without your <laughs> express written consent <laughs> i guess we should probably do I have pants on right now or not? Somewhat, <laughs> Somewhat Jethro Bodine. <laughs> I guess we should probably go help Leaf rescue him. No, from all these. I gotta go get Copious. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Copious will finish his hour with the madam and then he'll come and find us. No, he won't. Uh, no, He's I'm getting leaving. him now. I'm going to get him now. I'm gonna rush down there. When I find him, I'm gonna say, We need you. I'm gonna scoop him up princess style and carry him in my arms. And well, well, now he is in an alcove, so you're going to need an at 20 to spot he and his date. So give me a perception. Date. Check, which is, <laughs> you got to have a natural 20 to spot him. Wow, you suck at 20s. I do. Let's see it. Let's do. He's over oh, there. it was a six. Not even close. Uh, Copious, uh, yet again, uh, you hear the screaming and yelling, Copious, Copious. I'm going to tell the madam. Isn't that your friend? <laughs> no, baby, it's just you and me. Baby. She reaches underneath the table and gives you a pat on the knee, kind of hides from casual view, and you see Steve Martin running down the stairs. <laughs> Go, man! <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we should excuse ourselves to somewhere oh, a little bit more private. Let's let's wait till he's gone. Fair I'm enough. gonna stay there until I find him. 
I forget who it was in Mad Magazine, but that's what he's doing with the big feet flapping away. <laughs> uh, okay, Robert, you are encased in a ring of thorns, a burning ring of thorns. What would you like to do? You recognize Leaf's handiwork. I need to make a hole so I can see people and shoot firebolts. I would say oh, so. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to make a hole. Firebolt! Uh, what are you using? Go, go, gadget, firebolt. Firebolt. Okay. Go, 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 gadget, extend the arm. What is the uh, durability of the uh, spell leaf? How many hit points does it have? Um, Duration is 10 minutes. Huh? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I can't it does it really does it really get into that in the spell here? What was it called? Spike growth. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't say, it doesn't say. Uh, I'm going to say you can waste a lot of fire bolts on it. So like strong or something like that. A lot of it is it's buku bullshit, man. Yeah, and it's concentration, so he'll be holding that for 10 minutes. Uh, My wisdom's 20. I'll hold it. Oh, it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every five feet it travels if you try and cross through it. Uh, burning it down, it does not say. It does uh -uh. say it's hazardous, so your fire bolts are going to have limited effect. All right, uh, well, then I'll attack. You can hack your way through. I'm going to hack away a, a, a little bit of a tunnel through it so I can shoot my fire bolts at whatever across my path. Okay, uh, so your first transgression, so to speak, is going to cost you, whoa, double fours. Eight hit points of damage uh, as you get nicked and cut. Uh, Leaf, you see him coming through. And I'm I will, just thinking to myself, what a dumbass. I will say five rounds, Robert, as you hack your way through it. Uh, okay. Leaf, I'm just going to hold my concentration. Uh, Manfang has taken off. So, Felix, as you are poking halfling eyes out with your virility, you notice oh, chaos, and you've seen it before. You see Leaf... Doing a concentration spell, you hear a variety of profanity <laughs> coming from inside the thorns, uh, and clearly this is the half orc uh, whacking his way through the undergrowth. Uh, you have finally gotten your shirt on. He, he said, "Whacking, Felix. wedged my yourself whacking in my down, uh, <laughs> and have gotten your uh, dungarees fastened." Good. Good. Uh, but, you, but you're sporting a cod piece similar to uh, Roy Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. I think you're being awful generous there, sir. Yeah. It's tiny uh, dungarees. <laughs> can I can I figure out who they're trying, who they're attacking, or is it just total chaos? I'll give you insight check. Uh, seven. No, other than the half orc screaming a variety of profanities, uh, you aren't sure. <sighs> you can make a safe guess as Robert's doing something. Are and I you can also hear copious, copious. <laughs> uh, I guess I will start trying to cut the thorns on my way towards Robert. I'm going to yell at him. As he comes up, starts to cut him, uh, and say, uh, "Stop that! Come here." Okay, I'll do the. I'll do that. Uh, the what's going on? The halflings yeah. were cheering you on as you were clearly going to be their protector. Uh, now they are mystified as to what the problem seems to be that you have stopped. Uh, and are no longer going to deal with the clear and present danger that is Robert. I'm going to tell Felix when he gets within up uh, within earshot. I'm trying to keep them from killing Robert and Robert Robert from killing them. We need something to distract him, get him the hell away from here, so we can get him out of town. 
Set the rest of the town on the fire. Go, some go to the other end of town and start a fire. <laughs> you know yeah. you're saying that out loud, right? <laughs> I'm whispering it. I'm I need, whispering it. I need help setting the pink house on fire after the bullshit that just happened in there. <laughs> We'll do that in a minute, but for right, well, go do it to the pink house right uh, now. That's kind of close proximity. Yeah, go ahead. Go light that pink house up. That'll get oh. these guys over to help and then start screaming for help to put out the fire. You know what I wish, Copious. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. Go light that son of a bitch right yeah, now. I'm gonna. Well, do I need to take Robert with me for you? Help? No, you need to go do it. I can't I can't take the thorns down. All yet. right, fine, fine. <laughs> Lord, we'll go on, it. man, Fang. Go light the fire. Or What's I mean, going on with the I mean, leader? Felix. Is he just cooking in a bonfire. Oh yeah, they're dead. Dead as Lincoln. He's killed at least two people. <laughs> oh, good news, uh, man, Fang. Uh, you know those four that we're talking to you earlier? Yeah. They got another two. Hey, we we hear you can dance. Show us the dance, there, fancy boy. God, I will grab. Show them the dance of the battle. I will axe. grab my purse, my man satchel, <laughs> and say, Not right now, I'm looking for a friend. We can help. All right. He's was he about this tall? tall? <laughs> good yeah. looking? Not really good looking, no. Not much hair either. Um, we know exactly where he is. <laughs> Follow us. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank. Don't ever send that boy to the big city. <laughs> Where are we going, guys? What's <laughs> this creepy alleyway? He's in the caves. He's in the caves. This is a D and D Gomer pile. They try and stab me in the head. My skull too thick. They won't get in. They're just gonna rob you. You're getting mugged. <laughs> if you're you lucky, one, one iota. <laughs> so, are you gonna go with them? No, I'll, I guess I'll look for him. It's up to you. I mean, uh, you know what? Uh, let's do wisdoms check. <laughs> I, I told hey, that's I better than help. intelligence, dude. Uh, well, I, I got to give him some street. Code. Hey, my wisdom's plus one. Ooh. So, so you'll have four. <laughs> yeah, fifteen. Huh? Uh yeah. No, they're gonna rob you. <laughs> okay, good. I'm not going with them. Fair enough. Kill him. Uh, no. Kill him. Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Felix, are you going to set the pink house on fire? No! I think I need to because you know what? Uh, <laughs> I got kicked out before I was able to... Oh, that sounds like perfect justification. Yeah. There's a half-naked yeah. angel on your shoulder saying, don't do it, don't do it. No, there's, there's a, a fully there's naked a... devil on the other side saying, do it, do it. With blue balls that's saying, get her done. I think, yeah, the devil's not on my shoulder. It's in my pants. And he's going, <laughs> burn this fucker to the ground. <laughs> get her done. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go back into the pink house and try to bark something up here. Save the painting! <laughs> The yeah, painting will go up like kindling, man. I don't think I can save that paint. Well, uh, it's it's painting. It is so copious. Painting. I have something that I think you would love to see. It is in my personal I can't hear it. No, Would you tunnel. like to come see it? Why are you messing with it? It was fine. I, it I still it hear Fantank screaming, though, right? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna you're start still at the paint. bistro. Well, I didn't know if going. I could hear him calling my name still. Oh, yeah, you can hear him yelling. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna I'm going to politely say, you know what? Let me go check and calm him down. It may just be time for his medicine. And then I'll be right back. You just want to save that you know what? house, boy. <laughs> I I'm gonna go to my room and I will greet you warmly upon your arrival. Okay, uh, give right. me a give me a little time because I need to see what uh Oh honey, you. you aren't gonna give me a little of anything. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, she parts ways. Like you can go down on the deck. You see him surrounded by eight halflings. You'll be going down to there. Coax him. <laughs> I'm going to step up and I'm going to loudly say, Man Fang, what's going on? I don't know, but Robert. Hey, 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 is that your friend? Hey, 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 give me an insight roll. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, make an insight roll are... so I can see that there's <laughs> Yeah, I had 25 on insight. Uh, insight, where is it? Where is oh, you, you see them sliding their head down. I'm going to 
I cost the them. I got I'm, I'm going to cast um, uh, a fey presence as I tell him to step off and leave him alone. That'd be DC 17. No, that's a three. They take off. Uh, they do not get any of your hard earned coin this time. You should have killed them. You're, okay. You're a moron. I'm going to whisper. You're a moron. I'm going to whisper this because I don't want to alarm the people into uh, Kofi's ear that don't burn me. That, <laughs> that Robert tried to kill someone. What's her name? Like Medusa and captured him. I don't. What's her name? Most <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, Medusa. What's Medusa? <laughs> I get, now I gotta rewatch this episode. <laughs> Robert tried to kill Medusa. Maleficent is acting. He is a moron. Sit down, George. <laughs> Can I play with the bunny, George? I would have met the bunny, George. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Frankie. Robert, Robert, let me, let me say this, Frankie, little Frank. You play your character very, very well. I know. I'm going to really submerge himself <laughs> into the role. I really do. Hey, I really do. Hey, hey. He enjoys theater. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, says, go, go, ahead. go ahead, little man. So, okay. Robert, Robert tried to kill people and burn stuff. Leaf captured him kind of in thorns. Now, and now we got to go. I like the other story. And, and what about Medusa? And, and then the Kardashians <laughs> attacked him. And then the Spanish Inquisition came out of nowhere. Who? The <laughs> Inquisition. You know, this was one of my better days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go. And it won't be when you see your pink house. I got All it. right, so is the madam still with me here at this point, or has she gone off? She's gone off. She's about to discover her shit's on fire in a few minutes. <laughs> so I want to look around. Is is this still a busy thoroughfare? Is like everyone up on the third level at this point? Everybody's up. And there's rain shower coming down. And Felix is really <laughs> up. I'm going to tell Felix is thing. definitely up. I will be there in a minute. Now, where's that damn crutch <laughs> for his house? Because I'm going to steal that sucker. Which what? what do you want? I'm going to the cartographer's house, and if it's locked up, I'm breaking in. Second row, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got Manfang and Copius breaking into the cartographer's shop. Yep. Robert is surrounded in a <laughs> wall of thorns that he's hacking his way through. Uh, Leaf is concentrating on keeping Robert at bay. Uh, E.D. Felix is in the pink house attempting to burn that shit to the ground. Save the uh, painting! Not <laughs> bad for episode 200. <laughs> no. And I want to correct you, that's not E.D. Felix, that's E.P. Felix. <laughs> that's right. Wow. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? I, that... What'd you think? Copius <laughs> uh, had a great day until the last five minutes. It was a perfect episode. Didn't this get a little creepy? Well, I'm just. Copius <laughs> was great. He loved it. it was a Utah. Utah. <laughs> Medusa and medieval. Yeah, little Frank. Uh... Okay. Man, what really what, what, what do you think I've happened? It <laughs> really comes out of me when I play this game. <laughs> and you know what? That's excellent. That is excellent. It's, it's supposed to. Yeah. So I, I kudos. Uh, middle Frank. I, 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 I'm kind of going with the whole, my, my character's kind of cracking. Really? Mine a little bit. Really? Of, really. And now? it has really, you know, kind of moved <laughs> over to, you know, this whole dragon fire and the fire god. Yeah, I looked it up. It's uh, the, what, the Forgotten Realm? Mm -hmm. When did we find this Co out? Kosoth, so, you yeah. know. Just, Where did we read this? I just I just got tired of being robbed, so I decided <laughs> the world's got to burn. Amen. They're stealing from the church of Kosoth. Uh, Everything Frank. <laughs> I, I feel the same way. I'm tired of these little shits stealing everything. <laughs> All but Robert, there's a way to do things. There's a way to do things. And as soon yeah. as my concentration breaks, you can peel these little bastards here, here. off of you. There's about two dozen of them. Uh, EP, what'd you think? 
Felix e had a very hard e time this week. E e I e think e e he is just struggling and, you know. It's really hard up. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this place just goes up in smoke. But he's standing but, tall. The last yeah, thing you'll uh, see. Yes. The last <laughs> yeah. thing you'll see is your portrait, looking like Bonanza. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> well, this has been the 200th episode of Murder Hobo Inc. Games. Uh, thanks for joining us. We hope you had as uh, half as much fun as these guys did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, you can do that. Thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for some great rolling today and also oddfishgames.com uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of the weekend. <laughs>